Aren't they having a meeting downstairs? Aren't we about to slide down in the middle of their meeting right now? Whoa! Try to finish this case if possible and hope Amanda won't take it too hard. Send her hugs. I will definitely send her hugs. Thank you so much, Blood Hungry Kitten. That's a very generous donation. Wow. Whoa, 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 whoa! You guys just came down in an elevator! Uh, Mr. Edgeworth! That's a dramatic entrance. I was kind of expecting like a ton of people to be down there having a meeting. This place is... Is this the auction hall? No, it's the meeting room from before. <laughs> How nice of you to drop in, Kay Faraday. Oh, you've got some guts. Hey, you guys, arrest her! Arrest her! Wait, Kay is... As for the rest of the riffraff, just show them at the door. Whoop, 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 whoop. Stay back. This is tyranny. Yeah, it's tyranny, pal. It's tyrannical. It's a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Miles, this is kind of bad. The light of justice shines above me. Ha 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 Ouch! Why? Me too? Why do I always... Why do I look like such a whipping target, huh? Oh, that's strange. I was aiming for that weak ex-prosecutor! You were clearly aiming at me! Maybe something got in my way, particularly... <laughs> right around there. Francisca. Just what do you think you're doing here, ex prosecutor Mars Edgeworth? I don't believe that Kay is the culprit behind this incident. You're just an ordinary man without investigation rights. What you say does not matter. Oh, I hate you. I am Francisco von Kammer. I will never stop moving forward. However, you chose to quit. The outcome of our battle has already been decided. I cast away my badge because it became a millstone around my neck. I shall continue moving forward, even without it. The path I walk will surely lead to the truth. My actions are driven by that belief, and that is something which will never change. So, you're saying that you've found a path to the truth? Then show it to me. But if that path to be a foolish one. It will not survive my vip! Wow. The victim used her key card and entered this room with the culprit. We're just going right into this. Then the culprit stabs the victim in the chest with the candelabra, killing her. Shouldn't the letter make it obvious who the culprit is? Of course, the crime scene was right here in this room. The PIC meeting room. The proof is the blood stain we found here in the meeting room. That settles it, Miles Edgeworth. Miss Van Karma seems really confident, doesn't she? I see. She's a fiery one, isn't she? I don't mind a feisty cutie. So how about an introductory? <laughs> how repulsive! Well, Miles Edgeworth, can you break my logic? If you truly have no intention of stopping here, prove it to me with evidence. Very well, I'll show you, Francisca. Although I thought I was a civilian whose opinion didn't matter. But fine, I'll be happy to embarrass you even without my badge. The evidence that paves my path. Okay. The victim used her key card and entered this room with the culprit. Was there nothing suspicious about the security system? The meeting room security is perfect, much like my logic. There is no room for doubt. Your logic isn't as perfect as you think. In any case, your opinion has not changed. Yes, the victim and the culprit entered the room together. Then the culprit stabs the victim in the chest with the candelabra, killing her. 
The victim's wounds match up with the candelabra. The victim's chest was pierced in three places simultaneously by a sharp metal object. Is there anything else that could have done such a thing? Maybe a pitchfork? Maybe three knives tied together? Uh, maybe Wolverine killed her? That should all be written in Dr. Young's autopsy report. So you're sure that the murder weapon was the candelabra? Exactly. As for who the culprit is... Shouldn't the letter make it obvious who the culprit is? Not necessarily. Do you have anything to confirm that the letter was actually sent by K? Are you proposing that it was forged by the real criminal? That possibility was dismissed some time ago. There were no traces of forgery on the letter. Of course, there were no other traces besides K. Faraday and the victim found on the letter. Are you saying you found K's fingerprints on the letter? The only fingerprints we found belong to the victim. In other words, you can't really say that K is the culprit. Didn't I just say the possibility of a forgery has been dismissed? The letter was originally sent by K. Faraday. Therefore, it is only natural to assume that she is the culprit. Of course, the crime scene was right here in this room. The PIC meeting room. But we have evidence about that. Already. Do you have proof? Any proof of the crime took place in this room? Avon Karma is perfect in every way. Perhaps you forgot something you gave up your badge. The proof is a bloodstain we found here in the meeting rooms. That settles it, Miles Edgeverse. Um This this is wrong, but I actually think this is the one we're gonna present evidence at. Hold it. Have we determined who the blood actually belongs to? The blood analysis confirms that it belonged to the victim. Just because the blood stain was found here doesn't mean that this was the scene of the crime. You forget, Miles Edgeverse, that in court evidence is everything. If you believe this room is not the crime scene, show me the evidence that proves it. Evidence that shows where the crime took place. They may not be in court, but I'll show you the truth. Miss Van Karma isn't showing any openings. However, there is one fact we know that she does not. You're not the only ones who can perform scientific investigations. And therein lies the proof. The path to the truth that I've found. Okay. Key card stabbing, yeah, yeah, that's all fine. But the blood stain is not conclusive because we have a blood stain on the hidden lift. It appears to have dripped down, and the drippings are what they found. Mm, mm, mm. If memory serves me correctly, the blood in the meeting room was found in front of the statue of Lady Justice, was it not? Another someone before Lady Justice. This culprit knows no fear. I wonder about that. Have a look at this piece of evidence. It was found in the storeroom right above the meeting room. As you can see, there are signs that it has dripped down onto the floor below. And right under the hidden lift is the statue of Lady Justice. Did you understand? The murder did not take place here. The killer murdered the victim in the storeroom and then moved the body to this room. But Lady Justice witnessed was a coward trying to conceal their crime. And not the moment of the murder. She's smiling. Pardon me, I just remembered a conversation quite similar to this one. As I expected, Miles Edwards, such naivete couldn't possibly be an act. Just how's Mr. Edgeworth naive, huh? Ouch! Have you forgotten, or are you just playing the foolish fool? The amount of blood in the meeting room is clearly greater than in the storeroom. Uh, please don't just hit me and then ignore me. Yeah! Such a large amount of blood couldn't have simply dripped down from the floor above. But even if it had, there should have been much more blood left behind in the storeroom. 
Zimmer. Da could not have a card anywhere other than this meeting room. Hmm. You're as predictable as always, Francisca. What? The difference in the amount of blood is just as you say. The question is, why does such a difference exist? That issue is trivial. I've already explained it with my perfect logic. In that case, how do you explain the blood that was found in the storeroom? I don't suppose you're going to tell me that it somehow sprayed all the way up there. Like a water fountain? No way! It's like a Quentin Tarantino movie! Yeah! Exactly. It's impossible. In other words, the reason for the difference in the amount of blood is... The amount of blood in the meeting room and the storeroom are different because... Um... The weapon was pulled out here. Oh, she was stabbed in the storeroom, but the weapon was pulled out after they moved the body. The victim died of a stab wound. Naturally, there would be a significant amount of blood loss. That's obvious, just from looking at the blood stain. But that's so weird. She was attacked in the storeroom, but there was less blood found there than... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Silence your spider prosecutor! But I'm the best! That's not third! That's number one! Yeah! Do you know when you lose the most blood after getting stabbed with a sharp object? Ah! I know! I know all about blood! It's when the sharp object is pulled out, right? Precisely. After being stabbed with the candelabra, the body was moved to the meeting room. And then the murder weapon was pulled out, right here, in this very room. That would account for the difference in the amount of blood that was left behind. But why would the culprit go through all that trouble? Most likely to give the impression that the murder occurred in the meeting room, so that some foolish prosecutor, who is a foolish fool, would use her imperfect logic to be wrong. It seems Miss Crane's keycard was used last night. But based on the time of use, it must have been a ploy by the culprit to mislead us. In all likelihood, it was the culprit who used the keycard to enter the meeting room. Why would the culprit have needed to do that? Perhaps they feared that the soul would be found out during the investigation. If they were involved in the auction, they would not have wanted it to become public. Bum 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 bum. The auction, you say? Perhaps you should go upstairs and see for yourself what items are on display. I'm sure that will allow you to understand what occurred here. Impressive, Mars Edwards. You're willing to go that far to protect her? There's something big lurking behind the scenes of this case. Kay simply got caught up in it. You're exaggerating. Am I now? More than anyone, I would think you'd understand the significance behind all this. Why would you, a prosecutor working with Interpol, be involved in a domestic case? Wasn't your objective to crush a certain international smuggling ring? If your search for smuggled goods has led you here, then isn't this feeling I have related to the case? I'm relieved you haven't lost your touch, even though you've turned in your badge. I've heard about your situation from Scrappy over there. Eh? Uh, uh, um, sorry, sir. I, I just wanted to help out somehow. A wise decision, Detective. Francisca, are you the one in charge of this case? Isn't Interpol pursuing the black market auction? And what if I am? That's not something you need to know. So, you knew about all of this from the very beginning. You knew the black market auction was being held right here. Hey, hey, mind if I butt in with my butt? Pfft. I'm coming in. How about that guy who turned up dead? <laughs> Yo! Hey, I ain't done talking yet. I ain't changed the lick and stop licking me with your whip. This case doesn't need even a fragment of your faulty testimony. What are you saying? I'm a bona fide hell! 
back then? You'll get first testimony! This one Karma seems to really dislike Lada. I can't say she's fond of her. No, no. Mm -hmm. Ain't that crane gal one of them PIC members? She part of Pink! She's in Pink! She's a spitting image of the conductor! I reckon she's- Yay! Oh, she hit me! She hit me again! What is the meaning of this? Answer me, my sagebrush! From this hard testimony, we obtained a description of what the conductor was wearing. And it matches what the victim, Jill Crane, was wearing. Do you mean to say, someone who was murdered was the conductor? Hmm? Uh, Miss Van Kammer, maybe you should ca- Aye! It would seem that the new fact has been brought to light. Indeed, I came here in pursuit of the black market auction in order to arrest the organizer of the event. In other words, the conductor. If we believe Miss Hart's testimony, then the conductor is already dead. Wouldn't this mean that your investigation has ended in vain? That's right. However, I swear on my name that I will not return empty handed. I challenge you, Miles Edgeworth! A challenge is fine, but why is she readying her whip like she's out for a victim of her own? Tell me about your logic, Franny. I will continue your argument. So murder a card in the storeroom, correct? That foot means a carpet is someone who participated in the auction. If that photo photographer is correct, the victim was a conductor and the culprit was a customer. The culprit waited for the victim in the storeroom where the goods were delivered. Then they stabbed the victim in the chest with the candelabra in the storeroom. Yes? That is all. I trust you have no objections. Unfortunately, that is not the case, because there is a hole in your testimony. There might be three holes right in the left chest of your testimony. As expected, Mr. Edgeworth, I didn't notice anything at all. Well, then, please settle this with one blow. Yes, of course. What does I crush her logic? I'm actually not sure where the problem is, because it sounds like she just described what happened. So, let's press on through. I will concede your argument. It was a murder a cut in the storeroom, correct? It was surprisingly quick to concede. I simply cannot deny facts that are backed by evidence. That is all. You are proven that the murder a cut in the storeroom. That for means the culprit is someone who participated in the auction. Arguably, the culprit participated in the auction. I'd like to hear your basis for this claim. When I spoke with the staff of this building, and a single one mentioned the storeroom. The storeroom's existence must have only been known to a select few. And that's where the items for the auction were being stored. I see you understand. Yes, the corporal participated in the auction. The exact photographer is correct. The victim was the conductor, and the corporate was a customer. So you're saying the victim was the auction's conductor, right? On the culprit? Hey, ain't you the one who told her that just a moment ago? Yes, that's right. However, I was simply making sure her logic is clear. That ain't right. You're doing it wrong. This is the part where you're supposed to say, "Oh, don't goof." Yeah, the culprit was a customer participating in the black market auction. What in tarnation? Now you've done it, don't cover for him! You had a moment to make him look dumb and it's been- I just what? Of course, that is only as this photographer's testimony is indeed true. I can't tell whether they're on good or bad terms, but I'm enjoying myself, so... The issue here is the carpet's actions. The carpet waited for the victim in the storeroom, where the goods were delivered. Miss Hart was in the storeroom at the time. Could the culprit really have been waiting there? I don't know that she was hiding, but since you've seen it, you must know as well. There are numerous hiding places in that storeroom. 
So the culprit was hiding while they waited for the victim to arrive. I believe the crime occurred after the auction ended. After all, the victim was the organizer of the auction, the conductor. During the auction, the organizer would have to be in front of the customer the entire time. After the auction ended, please add that statement to your testimony. Mm. I believe the crime occurred after the auction ended. No, no, not presenting yet. Still pressing. The victim was killed after the auction ended. Are you certain of that? The victim was the conductor. That is the only possibility. Without the conductor, the auction couldn't have been held. The auction couldn't have been held? Something seems odd in this testimony. Since they stabbed the victim in the chest with the candelabra in the storeroom. Candelabra in the storeroom. How do you know that? If the murder weapon had been prepared in advance, the victim's chest would have been stabbed with something completely different. Based on the corporate's actions, it's clear where the murder weapon came from. There were signs suggesting that the candelabra was once placed in the storeroom, too. The items in the storeroom were intended to be sold as goods in the auction. Although, where the murder weapon was picked up from is not the main issue here. At first glance, the logic seems to hold up. Something just doesn't feel quite right. I need to draw out more information. Okay. Can see the argument. Photographer is correct. The crime occurred after the auction ended. So, this is the new statement that we got. And also, if Edgeworth is immediately like, Oh yes, there's definitely a contradiction. And then the contradiction is in a statement that wasn't yet in the testimony. Ha! Fine. Whatever. But what do we actually have that contradicts it? Is the question. What new information do we have? Let's check her testimony. Let's see. The auction continued even after Jill Crane's murder, according to her testimony. As I thought, you are one step behind. What did you say? The victim was not the conductor, and I have proof. Miss Hart's testimony. The photographer's testimony is not trustworthy. What are y'all saying? I'm a bona fide journalist. Cease your hide and chatter. Yeah, yeah. Francisca, calm down and listen. Miss Hart witnessed a part of the murder. The main point here is that after the witnessing the murder, she says the auction continued. That's right! Sure as can be, they all just kept going on shamelessly. Do you think the auction could have continued without someone conducting it? If the victim was not the conductor, the person killed must have been a, a customer. No! Nine! As I said from the beginning, Kay is not the culprit. After all, she herself was attacked by someone and lost consciousness. In which case, that would also make her a victim. If the auction continued after the incident occurred... Yes, and the victim was not the conductor, but a customer. That's enough. That voice. We got a nice clue for this one. Order in the court. The chairman will now enter. Mama, no need to be so stiff. <laughs> Actually, uh, feel free to call me Blazy. If you wanna. No have to, no big deal. You can be formal if you feel like it. Whatever makes you comfortable, right? That's what I'm going for. Well then, <laughs> Blazy, what brings you here? Huh? Well, well, I just wanted to see if my idiot son was working hard is all. By the way, you don't get to call me Blazy. You call me Pop Pop, you can call me Beardo, Beardo Dad, or preferably His Sir Excellence Majesty the Beard. Is this kind of father-son relationship really healthy? Whoa, I come to light a fire under you, but it seems I found an unexpected bonus. In before, in before he lights his beard on fire. 
I'm just going to go ahead. I don't know what happens. I'm. I. This is not a spoiler. I'm just speculating right now. Looking at this sprite, he's gonna set his beard on fire. The length of the criminal who has become the talk of the town would be here of all places. Everyone, restrain the suspect at once. Please wait. K Faraday is not the cult. Silence. Okay. This is coming a little close to true, a little quicker than I thought. This is quite troublesome, Edwards. Didn't I tell you earlier? The PIC desires a swift resolution to this case. If it's not, well, we could lose our trust with the public. They call us a waste of time committee. Hey, 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 hey the water. You know, it's troubling for me as well, that sort of thing. When I'm my age, too. And on top of that, an illegal investigation is not something that I can overlook. Have you forgotten? You are no longer a prosecutor. You have lost all your authority. Furthermore, you have aided a criminal in evading the law. Yep, 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 that's right. You're still reliable, Courtney. I'm aware of the consequences of my actions. You may punish me as you wish. However, we have found a new suspect. It's the person pictured here. Kay Faraday was attacked by this person, and... There is no need for your explanation. Just recently, a red raincoat was discovered in the vicinity of this building. The victim's blood and cherry blossom petals were found on the hood. Cherry blossom petals. Now that you mention it, on the viewing platform, yes, they probably stuck on due to the blood. They were littered around the blood stain. And we've received the forensic report on the blood, you know. There's no doubt about it. The person in that photo is the victim, Jill Crane. What did you say? Um, oh. I impossible. That would completely destroy the foundations of our logic. We'd believe the person in the red raincoat was the culprit. And now it turns out that person is actually the murder victim? Wait, if that's the case, then the prime suspect would be... Miss Faraday, you met a person in a red raincoat on the rooftop, did you not? Yes, I, I did, but... The person in the red raincoat was the murder victim. And Kay Faraday came into contact with that person. Since one of the parties is now dead, what happened next should be clear. Objection! Kay was attacked by that person. As the victim, it would be impossible for her to be the culprit. The There's no evidence she was attacked, is there? Furthermore, we must consider the possibility that the victim fought back. It's far too early to come to that conclusion. Kay is not the criminal. You're wrong. K Kay! It's wrong, even though I don't want to believe it myself. After hearing about the raincoat, I finally remembered. I only remember a little, but from what I saw that night, the culprit is me. I remember looking down at the person in the red raincoat. Mr. Edgeworth. It was me. The culprit was me all along. That can't be right. Then why? Why do I have that memory? That person collapsed before my eyes, engulfed in a pool of blood. Why didn't I do anything? It must have been because I killed her. <clears throat> It is clear to me the validity of Kay Faraday's memory. Didn't you doubt it until just now, pal? Rule. Congratulations, Miss Faraday. Your courage will surely allow you to be forgiven. Now, let us rejoice in the blessings of the goddess of the law. Objection! 
allow me to give my opinion as an international prosecutor. Her actions as a criminal are... Hurry, arrest Kate Faraday at once! How dare you behave that way before me! You're being too forceful. Further verification is necessary. I'd even go so far to say this is unlawful. Unfortunately, the law does not side with you. It sides with me, you see. <laughs> well, you know, the beautiful bond between you two has been etched deeply into my heart. That reminds me, we seem to have forgotten one additional suspect. Edward. Well, that's you. You're the suspect. Surprise! What did you just... Oh, uh, what's that, pal? This Edward hasn't done anything wrong. I beg to differ! That's right. You see, he's no longer a prosecutor, sadly enough. <laughs> Your actions have gone too far this time. An illegal investigation. An assist in the escape of criminal. I cannot even think of you as a former prosecutor. Now, humbly, accept your punishment. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. I believe the plan for today was to hold your hearing before the PIC. Why don't we leave the hearing for tomorrow, even though the results are already crystal clear. You should think long and hard about what you've done. Very long and very hard. Like that gavel? Court is now adjourned. I guess we're going to jail. Um. Tune in next time when we're gonna be probably in jail. I didn't do it. We didn't do it. Like, comment, and subscribe. We didn't do it. Bye for now.